A popular Spanish restaurant that called Carrollwood home for two decades is now in South Tampa. In this week's Great Day Dining, I check in with Chef Felix and visit the new home of Vizcaya Soho. I'm excited to be at Vizcaya in South Tampa and joining me today is the owner of Vizcaya, Chef Felix. Thank you for joining us today and thanks for inviting us in. Absolutely. So explain to me the concept of your restaurant. This is a new restaurant to the South Tampa Soho area, but not necessarily to the Tampa area, right? Yeah, well, we were in Carrollwood for mm -hmm. 20 years and we moved to South Tampa to a different location uh -huh. two months before the pandemic hit. We couldn't make it. Yeah. So anyway, uh, then everything got closed down and we started construction of this. Mm -hmm. Actually, this building is from the 50s. Mm -hmm. So we started renovating about a year and a half ago, right in the middle of the pandemic. Mm -hmm. And uh, what we're trying to do here is the same thing we did in Carrollwood, mm -hmm. which is authentic Spanish cuisine. Let's talk a little bit about this building because it has been a lot of things over the years. It was originally like a garage or something? I think, I think it was built in the 50s mm -hmm. and it was a, a car repair shop with I guess at some point it was a gas station here. Mm -hmm. But that must be about 30 or 40 years ago. So you've been open just three weeks. We've been open for three weeks, so we're still trying to get all our, you know, pieces of the puzzle together. But it's been a three good weeks. We made a lot of progress, and uh, we're getting a lot of our regulars back, mm -hmm. and it's been fun. Yeah. Yeah. And I noticed a big crowd of women earlier. So you definitely have some followers, and it's a place that you can sit, have fun, talk, right? I mean, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's a very nice space it's very i think we did a great job renovating the building and yeah after 21 years we we do have some followers yes okay chef so we are outside on this patio which i love it's a beautiful day to sit outside beautiful yes yeah okay and you have so much i don't even know where to start should i start here with the ceviche all right we can start with that okay kind of explain to me what it is and so it's a, it's a salmon and a scallop and uh Key West Pink Shrimp Ceviche. Uh, there is a lot of different ways to make ceviche. Mm -hmm. Ours, it's a little bit uh, reddish. We use lime, but then we use mm -hmm. some uh, fresh tomatoes, and mm -hmm. that makes it a red. And, uh, you know, some aromatics and onions. Mm -hmm. And uh, I mean, I think it's very good and refreshing. And yeah. uh, we right. use uh, Faro Island salmon, so it's a really nice salmon. Oh, there's some salmon in there. Let me get that. Very fresh, very good. All right, so now we say maybe the best for last because I know that you're known for your paella, right? Okay. Would you say this is the main traditional Spanish I guess dish? it's the most well known, yes. I guess. I have heard that this is the best paella in town. So, well, we shall see, right? That's a very nice compliment. <laughs> This is delicious. So you know what, Chef? I have never made paella, so I would love to see how you make this dish. Will you so show us? We'll go and cook one now. All right, great. Yeah. After one more bite. So today, basically, what we're going to do, we're going to cook a seafood paella. I guess you can say the paella is the national dish of Spain. This is going to be a seafood version. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to saute the shrimp a little bit, and then we're going to take them out because we don't want to overcook with the rice. So here what we have is sofrito. We just make a large batch here at the restaurant. But sofrito is basically onions, red peppers, uh, green peppers, and tomatoes. And what we do, we just uh, process it to the, through the blender. But this is what it gives a lot of the flavor to the paella. This is our short grain rice. It's called bomba rice. It's very similar to an arborio rice. And it's going to release all that starch as it cooks. Mm. Another very important thing when you cook paella is to measure the, uh, the amount of liquid to the amount of rice. You gotta do double the amount of uh, liquid. You want the rice 
not to pop open the grain and just to be like a, a dente texture. So for that, we're gonna add one and a half times of a stock. This is lobster stock that we made here at the restaurant. And I did one and a half instead of two because I put half a cup of uh, white wine. All right, so the rice has been cooking for about 15 minutes now. So we're gonna go ahead and add the rest of the seafood now. So these are uh, squid rings. This is grouper. We're gonna put the scallops in there and the shrimp. So these are Key West pink shrimp. They're wild caught. We used to we like to use those because they have a lot of flavor. A couple of clams and a couple of mussels. To make it look pretty, we're just gonna add some green peas and a little bit of fire roasted peppers that we do here. So in this final stage, we're just gonna let it cook for another couple of minutes just to make sure that all the seafood is cooked. I like to do it this way again so we don't overcook the seafood. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna cover it and let it cook for another three, four minutes. So Chef, I wanna thank you for having us here today. This was fantastic. And I mentioned earlier that someone said this was the best paella in town. And I agree, this is some of the best paella I have ever had. So thank you very delicious. much for that compliment. So toast to you. I don't think you have sangria, but I'm gonna drink enough well. for both of us. So, salud and happy days, as my father would say. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> And Vizcaya is open for lunch and dinner Tuesday through Sunday. You can follow them on Facebook and Instagram at Vizcaya Soho.